Hey guys, John Vapor Only Technologies here today. Uh, we're gonna redo a video that's done in the past here, static versus working pressure or PSI. Uh, this is one of the most common issues that we have seen with our customers having problems and issues with their machine. Um, let's face it, I don't, I don't care what else you think in the world might be important here. The, the fact of the reality is, the matter is, air compressors and pressure are very important, probably the most important thing. Um, there have been many, many, thousands and thousands of examples of factories and plants and businesses that we went into that have had air line issues and compressor problems. So, static versus working pressure. Static pressure is when the gauge is sitting at rest, with pressure on it, of course, but that's when it's setting there. Then the working pressure is gonna be when you hit the foot switch and you start that machine up and the needle drops, and let's face it, most of our needles are gonna drop. Some may drop more than others, it's not a big deal, that's just, that's a CFM, that's a, that's a CFM loss. Like your, your plumbing could be better or your compressor could be better. But static pressure while the gauge is setting there at rest with air hook to it, and then working is when you hit the pedal. The working pressure is the most important part. I don't care about the static, I really don't. I mean, if you tell me you have it set on 100 PSI static or 70 static, that's not gonna give me what I need to tell you if you're running correctly. You need the working pressure parameter that's what you need. So when you hit that foot switch and the pressure is set there, that's what you need to pay attention to. Um, because if we give you a spec, that's where we want you to go and run. Also, if we have, you know, if you have like a micro, micros are super important um, to have the correct pressures and it has to be working pressure to make sure that that machine runs at its optimal performance. Um, every time we have like a micro in the showroom here, we have 150 PSI on tap. So we have good performance out of that machine. We don't run at 150 PSI, but we have plenty of air to run the machine. And that's one of the biggest issues we see with the micro customers. There's not enough air to run that machine. But I hope you understand the difference between static and working. It's very important to make sure that you have the correct process, that you're running the correct process. Um, if you guys have any questions further about that, post them in the comments below if you have questions. Um, we can get you answers or also call or email the sales team. As always, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.